Good morning. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to do another What Sold With You. Now believe it or not, even though I already have tons of stuff to list, um, I'm always game for sourcing. So my sister had a doctor's appointment this week. And so after her appointment, we decided to hit a couple of thrift stores. One of those thrift stores... They've got new management or people running it. And all of a sudden, they've got their plush for like $15. So I won't be going back there very much. But we decided to go to um, the Salvation Army Family Store. And I bought a bunch of plush there. Um, they had this huge netted thing full of stuffed animals. Almost everything on top, no matter what size it was or what it was, was 99 cents. But as I got deeper and deeper, then the prices started going up. So somebody has decided they got too much plush and they're trying to get rid of it. So I think I spent about 30 some dollars there. And then she was feeling a little stir crazy. So she wanted to go hit some estate sales Saturday. So we got up and I went and... We hit two estate sales, and then we decided to hit another thrift store before we went home, and we crammed my little Honda Civic with stuff. So, there's still sourcing opportunities out there if you're, you know, and I live in a small town, so it's there. You just got to be watching. Now, somebody did ask, how do I find estate sales? Um, I follow many of them. They have Facebook pages. And so it always just comes up on my feed when they post. Um, several of them post in our local newspapers. Um, we have two major ones for this area. I go in there. But pretty much, you know, that's how I find them. And you can go to websites like estatesales.net and some of those others. We have a few companies that use that to preview pictures. Um, but for the most part, I, I just follow them on Facebook so I know when they're going to have their next sale. I probably have a good 10 or 12 that I follow all the time. When it comes to their Facebook pages, you want to make sure that you, when you see their posts, whether you're interested in the post or not, you click on it, you go to it, maybe leave a comment, click like if you like it, that, that sort of thing, because you want e eBay. eBay, Facebook <laughs> to tie you and that estate seller together as you've got an interest, you've got a connection so that they continue to pop that up in your feed. Yep. And you don't want to just avoid clicking them even when you're not interested in what they're doing because Facebook will see that as a lack of interest and eventually you will not see those things in your feed anymore. Yep. So I always like them so that I continue to get them. So, I'm going to show you what I picked up at the thrift store on Tuesday. All of this came from one um, Salvation Army. I think I have about four bags full. You know, it, again, some of it's going to be my, you know, 6 to $10, and some of it's going to be a lot more. But almost every single one of these I paid $0.99 cents for. This is my favorite brand. This is Animal Fair. I have no idea what it is and putting animal fair hand because that's what it means to looks like to me just get you hand puppets robert found one that said like spider but i don't know any spiders that have but for the most part it looked like most people were listing and selling these for about 15 dollars to 20. this one's in excellent shape so i'm going to probably go on the higher end of it i pick up all things halloween they just do really well on eBay. This is by Cow Plush. Not a great brand, but it's a pumpkin. Robert thought mate well. No, I think it's a tomato. I don't know. It could be a tomato. It could be a pumpkin. But I think it's a pumpkin. It's an app. It's a tomato. I realize it's got like it is red face and... But it's have, Halloween. Oh, it is? But when have you ever seen a pumpkin with a little green thing on top of its head? I know. On a stem. Nevertheless, probably $15 or so for it. It does look like a jack-o'-lantern face. It does have a jack-o'-lantern face. But why is it red instead of orange? I don't know. This is Adventure Planet. 
just cute, has a little baby attached to it. I'm thinking $12 to $15 for it. I could be wrong. This is going to need a little bit of cleaning again. And I asked the lady, I was like, why is the stickers all on the eyes? And she said, it's how they keep it. It's the only thing that keeps the stickers from falling off, which I'm glad they're not like stapling them or writing on the tags. So I'm happy with peeling stickers off eyeballs. This is Wizard. It's a Plaza 101 Dalmatian. I've not had one this big. Again, I'm hoping 15 and up for it, but he's got to get cleaned. This is House of Lloyd. I love picking this brand up. It, I think, also is Christmas around the world. This is, it says, I'm an angel. Again, 99 cents. I, probably $10, $15. It's going to need cleaned up a little, too. This is Wonder Treats. So I'm wondering if it came in like a little gift basket or something. Love the eyes once I peel the sticker off. Again, probably, me personally, $15. This is Manhattan Toy. I've had this before. It's going to need a bath also. Um, but, but this doesn't sell as well as some of the other Manhattan toys. But I love this shape. It reminds me of Jelly Cat and the Manhattan toys both do this. But it, I think it's only like $10. Another 99 cent eyeballs. This is Garfield, of course. I believe it's Dakin. Yeah. Larger size than normal. So I'm hoping 12 to 15 on it. And it's nice and clean and ready to go. This is Carter's Just One You Monkey. It's one of the pool crib toys. Has the little tie on the front. These do quite well. This is probably $20 to $25. Don't know if this is supposed to be Tennessee orange, but it definitely looks Tennessee orange. It's vintage. It's just the plush factory. I'll probably list it for $15 or so dollars also. This definitely needs a bath. This is Baby Gooned, My First Puppy. Not a rattle or anything. Um, probably in the eight to ten dollar range. My favorite brand again. This is Animal Fair. Probably will still list it like ten to twelve dollars. Very cute. Very clean. I just sold one of these. I'm pretty sure Robert shipped it. Circo, which is Target. I think it sold for probably $15 to $20. It's going to need a bath, too. Saturday. Yep. This is Animal Adventure 2014. Love that it's purple. The rainbows, colors. I'm hoping $12 to $15. Kelly Toy Horse. Had a 99 cent sticker on it. Again, probably the eight to $12. Horses, I get them. They're just not as popular as some of the other plush that I buy. I do like that this one has this zigzag, so that might be something that bumps it up to like 12. This is vintage Dakin, dated 1986. How cute is that? He's still got his little skis, probably 10 to 12 dollars. I've had these a few times. This is Gummy Bears from 2004. Street Players. I don't remember. My gut says this is probably about 8 to 10 dollars. But very cute. Like the Gummy Bears. One of my favorite snacks. But only the ones that come from Germany. Those are the best. 
I've been finding a lot of these. They're stuffed. This is the only part that's like really stuffed. It is full of like nutshells or gravel or something. I don't know what it's filled with. But it's from Jolson Industries, which I thought that was like yearbooks and stuff, but maybe it's different. But very cute. Again, probably $15 to $20. But all of this is floppy. And then this. Russ loves pets. His name is Muggsy. Don't know if I'll put him with something else, but clean and just adorable. And Easter's coming. This is Main Joy. It's got its original price tag. I will probably take that off. Cute. Look at that. The pink eyes. This is one of those, I think, I get these quite often. I want to say $15 to $20, but it may be more. It's not the big ones that I like to get that are like $50, $60, $70, $70, but very cute. I just had to get this one. Look at the colors. This is so 70s, 80s. But it is Ace Novelty Company. It's that carnival style. Very stiff, but clean. Probably $10 to $15. <sighs> I think this might be Belky Bear, but I do not know. This is Kmart. Oh, Dandy Imports, 1986. This is Kmart. I think I have others like this. Again, probably $15 to $20. Just look at that cute shirt. And it's like the flocked stuff. Uh-oh, somebody's losing her drawers. Let me pull them up. This is J.C. Penney's, just very large plush. It's got a little bit of issues with the whiskers being bent. <laughs> they just look odd with the stickers on their eyeballs. Again, it was 99 cents. I'm hoping in the $20 range just because of the size. No idea, but to me, this is a treasure. This is Smokey the Bear, which of course is University of Tennessee. Got his little ball shirt on. It's, I did pay $1.99 for him. I'm going to move the sticker. Uh, 1987, and it's got a battery something or other in the bottom. Nothing in it though. I'm not sure what that was all about, but... I'm hoping, I'm going to guess 30 or up, maybe even 40. I'm going to reckon that this is so you could uh, smuggle your beer into the game. <laughs> maybe. All right. This is Commonwealth, another kind of large rabbit. Very cute. Can't see. Well, here's the eyeballs. Probably the fifteen to twenty dollar range. I've had I've been buying a lot of these. This is Kenner Hug a Bunch. This one is Imkins. I've had the same exact purple one. I may still have it in my store. Sometimes they have a little baby that goes with them and they hug it here. Um, but usually I want to say twenty twenty five dollars on these. And she was ninety nine cents. Now, I love this. The face is rubber, or plastic, not rubber. It's a hard rubber. Hard plastic. It says hot stuff on the belly, and it is MTY International. I'm hoping 12 to 15, but I could be surprised, and it'll be more because of the plastic face. This is the Heritage Collection. Just a very cute, kind of flat plush. Oh, it's a 
googles. Oh, I've had these where they were ducks, I believe. I don't think I've ever had a lamb. So very cute. But this is what their tags look like. I like this brand. It's Gons Brothers, which does the wrinkles, hand puppets, and it also does all the Webkin stuff. This is, I think, from the Snowed In. Just the smiley face bear like that. It is Dandy Imports. Very cute. Probably $8. Then I got a couple of little ones here. One of these is Russ. I think I had a little rat, a different Russ. I might put those two together and make it maybe like $15 or so. And then this is Dakin. 1978. Just had to have it. All right, so that was everything from the thrift. Let me show you a few things I picked up at the estate sales. All right, let me show you some of the um, stuff I picked up at the first estate sale. It was half price day. I've gone to this estate sale before, and even half price, their prices are just not where I want them to be. But this time, it was crazy. And I think I only spent... I want to say about $60, but I bought a lot. So let me show you. That may be wrong. It might have been $30. You got to be wrong about something. I eventually. know. I can't remember, but I'll show you the prices I paid and it was half. How about that? I'm going to just show you some of the Nicky Knack stuff. I did buy a lot of plush there also. But I bought a bunch of Christmas. I went straight to Christmas because that's where I had seen some Christmas plush that I did end up picking up. And then I just started buying Christmas after Christmas after Christmas. And I'm good with that. This is just a very cute little planter. As you see, I paid $2, so it would have been $1. Very, very, like, porcelain, I think. Oh, and then this. I couldn't... I paid a quarter for this, but it's a little elf grabber. I would think it would have sat maybe, I don't know, on something, but look how cute. These little vintage elves definitely are popular. This was a dollar. Couldn't resist. It looks like Santa blows bubbles. Of course, I haven't checked it yet. Just couldn't resist. And then I think I have something similar. I may have the other kissing angel to go with this. I'm not sure. Just a, I think these were called, um, what are they called when they, people did this themselves. Ooh, that's about to fall. Look. And I found all three of them at different times in different places. So somebody had split them up. But I think they're a set. But these are all Anna Lee deer. No clue. Because I find Anna Lee once in a while. But I'm not enough to know. Not aware enough yet to figure out if these are worth anything. But I'm hoping, you know, $20, $25. And I think, yeah, I paid $0.50 cents each. This intrigues me. It's that paper mache. I paid a dollar fifty for it, and it's it does have some markings on the back. E B. I don't have my glasses. I can't read the rest of it. But look at that. Paid a dollar for this. It is applause. Two little hugging dinosaurs. Christmas colors found this in the bathroom just this is two dollars made in Taiwan I think it says but a little I guess earring holder elephant with the raised trunk which is supposed to signify good luck just loved it paid a dollar you always take a chance with these but I went ahead and did I paid three dollars for it it is dandy, musical, still has its little tag here. I think it said it does 
Yeah, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. I hate that song, but nevertheless. It's a Christmas oh. classic. <laughs> this is Prestige Toy 1987. It has the little suction cups on its hands. Very cute. This. I just love. This is Sasco. I've had a couple of these, and I think they do quite well. So I'm thinking, like, well, to me, quite well is 12 to 15 or so. Robert. What? I... He, he said, I found my twin at the yard sale. This is Gaffa. All things Halloween, right? Very cute. I paid $1.50 for it. What's funny, though, is when I was in the military, I was pretty strict about my job. And, you know, you had to have the right paperwork and everything. And I worked at this place that was, um, how, I don't want to say the name of it, but uh, it, it had the word West in it. So they would always call me the Wicked Witch of Nav West, Navy West, but because I was tough. You didn't have the right paperwork. You weren't getting what I what you wanted. But yeah, Robert. All right, some more of the Christmas I picked up. This is marked Japan 1985 Saltera, but it had I'm guessing some kind of like cheese board or some kind of entree type thing. I'm guessing appetizer. I think that's the word I wanted. But just very cute. Doesn't really look used because I don't see scratches on it. And I think I paid $1.50 for that. And then I picked these up. These are Princess House. As you can see, I paid $2. These are four mugs. And then I also have the four salad plates. Don't know if I'll sell them together or not, but I want to say they're probably about $15 for each set, maybe a little more. The guy that's going to do the packing wants you to sell them together so they, they're easy to pack. There you go. And they're so fancy little boxes. They will probably go together then. All right, let me pick up a few more. Oh, this, look how cute. This is marked just made in China, but again, it's that paper or fabric mache Santa on a little sled but look how cute no idea on these but and it's kind of heavy but it's got this little I'm not sure if that has anything to do with anything but very cute and I'm assuming these are handmade these little shelf sitters I did pay five dollars for the set how cute Somebody, I think, did a really good job painting that. I paid $2 for this. It's marked Robert Stanley Christmas Tableware. But just very cute. $2. I paid a dollar for this. It's Hallmark. Even if these are $10, I'm fine with that. Because I don't have to pack them either. And then this is Harry and David, 2007. How cute. This says Dixon's Stained Glass Nativity. I paid $1.50 for it. I'm not going to get it out, but I did check it. And it seemed to be fine. But $1.50. This is called Shapes of Clay from the foothills of Mount Rainier. And it's signed on the back. I'm hoping, you know, $20, $25 for that. And I paid $1.50. I did pick this up. It's Dimensions. The Cruel doesn't, I don't think, do as well as like the Needlepoint or Cross Stitch. Um, but I, I did only pay a dollar for it, and it is sealed. Oh. 
Did you see that that last thing is made with ash from Mount St. Helens? Really? I was in my last year of high school, 1981, when that happened. I remember it because I was in Europe and it was big news. My mom woke me up to tell me about it. But yeah. We won't say where Robert was in 1981. Junior high. <laughs> uh, yeah. We have a little age difference. Just a little. All right. It's only it, a few years. It's all right. No clue. I just thought it was cute. It's a little votive wall hanging by Dennis East. And I paid $2.50 for it. Very odd. I guess it's it's a wall hanging because there's a little tabby thing here. This looks hand painted maybe. I don't know. It does say overly raker. Definitely looks vintage. But I couldn't resist. Just cute. And I did find the the other angel. So that they'll be, they're together and they're kissing. These intrigued me. They are Department 56. I want to say, yeah, I paid $1.51 and maybe $2. So half of that. This one's losing his little hat. But they're just, they're odd. I can't. They feel like they're foam, but they're not foam. But they feel like it. Hopefully, Google Lens will help me figure out what it is. For a bolo, I saw a post on Facebook the other day. Somebody sold the Christmas vacation house or something from Department 56 for $1,600 on eBay. I know to always look for anything from that movie, especially even like the Hallmark ornaments. Definitely a bolo. I'll have Robert try to find some and stick them right here for you. But one definitely. Of, one of the top few Christmas movies of all time. <laughs> he loves that movie. And Die Hard. Die Hard. Elf is here too. It's, it's, like, the, it's like the modern classic. Mm-hmm. All right. This is... Don't know. Oh, Cracker Barrel. I couldn't figure out what the CB was standing for. Just caroling mouse figures. I paid a dollar for them. Still, I'm hoping, you know, $10. Anything above that is great. Did pick up a few more um, plush that are Halloween. This one is called Beanie Boppers. It is by Mighty Star. Love that. And then this one is by, I think, Hallmark also. And then my love-hate relationship with these big white bears. I tell you, I buy them. I buy them. This looks like the little smiley face Snowden. It does only, it says Fordlet 1994. I just was complaining. Happy that I had gotten rid of some huge cuddle wits that I had. And then I turn right around and I buy big bears. I think I've got several of these I already featured in a previous video. Pretty sure. I'm hoping this is musical. And it should light up there. Again, a lot of these are probably going to be in the $10 to $20 range. Another one. This one is, oh, I only paid 50 cents for this one. Just made in Taiwan. And then this reindeer, I paid a dollar for it. It is AMC. Not quite sure. But 1985. I want to say no. I thought it was musical, but it's not. And then these nylon. I pick them up. This one's Department 56. Sometimes they're like Silver International or something like that. I still grab them. I paid 50 cents for it. All right. And I bought clothes. Blah. Clothes are blah. They were some vintage stuff there. And their clothes were a quarter 
a piece. So I couldn't resist. I didn't buy a whole lot. Um, I had already, I was overwhelmed with Ikea bags, which was, that's a good problem to have. But if Robert had been there, we probably would have came home with 10 Ikea bags full. Somebody had to do the real work and ship the stuff to the customers. Mm-hmm. All right. And I, sleep in. Yeah, and sleep in. But yes, he did do my packages Saturday morning. I ship six days a week, so... You know, the work's got to go whether I'm outsourcing or not. All right, I'm going to close this up. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, it just kind of helps out my channel with the algorithm. With the algorithm. Comments help, likes help. Comments, sort of likes. Stuff. Yeah, I don't have problems with you guys sending me comments and stuff, though. I truly appreciate it. All right, bye.